is Bruce McConnell with Locomotive Systems Training. How are you today? We're doing something a little bit different today. We're going to go way back, and I mean way back to the very first video we did. Locomotive Orientation LSTV-001. Now there's a good reason why we're doing it, a couple of good reasons. Number one, when we were new at doing this, if you look at this original video, uh, I'm very, very dark. I mean, just, just like a shadow, so you really can't see me very well. And uh, the producer says they wanted a, a better, a brighter picture. And also, I received several comments here just recently uh, that there, might, there was a little bit of confusion on that first video. So I'm here to, to brighten things up and also to clarify. So let's, let's roll and, and see what we can do here. All right, this is locomotive orientation. Let's take a look at it. Okay, the locomotive orientation. What determines the front and back of a locomotive? We're going to talk about that. What determines the left and right side of the locomotive? We're going to talk about that. And what determines the numbering position of components? Very, very important. All right, let's move on. How is the diesel engine installed in a locomotive frame? Oh, great. Uh, what determines the front and rear of the diesel engine? Well, is it the same as the front of the engine? Maybe, maybe not. What determines the, the right and left of a diesel engine? Hmm. And what determines the numbering position of the components? So let's take a look. Okay, and also, why is it important to understand locomotive orientation? All right, ladies and gentlemen, what determines everything in a locomotive is the letter F. Okay, this is the FR rule 229.11. Locomotive identification, the A, the letter F, shall be legibly shown on each side of every locomotive near the end for which identification purpose will be known as the front end. Word for word, right out of the FRA rule book. Now, we got to go to the next one so I can explain landmarks to you. Okay, if you look up here at this locomotive, there's two different types of hood that can be found on a locomotive. One is called the short hood, one is called the long hood. Okay, if you look up here, the long hood, and remember the cab determines where all this stuff goes. We'll have a short hood in the front, a long hood behind it, or maybe not. But let's take a look. Here's my cab right here. This is what they call the long hood. The main generator compartment's in it, the engine compartment, the air compressor compartment. All those components are affixed in the long hood end. Okay? Here's the cab, as outlined in red. And now, like in this logo, we've got a little bitty, tiny, tiny short hood. Okay? You might have things there like a toilet or a sandbox for the front sanders. Uh, electronic equipment, air brake equipment, uh, whatever. Whatever you got down there. But anyway, it's called the short hood. So you have the long hood and the short hood. And you have the cab. Those are the three landmarks we're looking for to determine front, left, right, rear, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Most railroads, and I use the term most, will use, they'll put the letter F right there. That will be the short hood end. It'll be right there. That's where they'll affix that letter F, okay? That also determines the numbering of components. For example, traction motors, or wheels, or axles. If the letter F is here, then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. What if we reverse that and we took, ran a long hood forward, we put the letter F down here? Then that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. See the difference right there? So the letter F does matter just in numbering alone, you know. Um, left side and right side, okay. If the letter F is here, and here's how I always tell everybody to how to understand my left and my right. Okay, one way that I do this is I will open up the main generator door on either side, doesn't matter. And I do this mentally. I do not do this physically. I mentally, as I'm looking, as I'm facing towards the front of the diesel engine, not the locomotive, and I mentally straddle, like I'm going to ride a horse, I mentally straddle that main generator facing the engine. If I do that, my left is on the left side of the main generator and the engine, my right is on the right side of the main generator and the right side of the engine. My front is facing the front of the diesel engine, not the locomotive car body, but the diesel engine, and my back is facing the back of the main generator and diesel engine. So you got to get that straight because we have two orientations we have to consider. The locomotive car body consideration and the main generator and diesel engine consideration.
Okay, everybody got that? Okay, now, so if this letter F is right here for the short hood, then this, be and, and, and as I'm sitting in the cab, looking out the front window on this locomotive right here, facing that way, then this becomes the left side of the locomotive. This is the front, the opposite side, or over here is the right side, and the rear would be back over here. Everybody got that? The letter F were down here, the engineer would be facing this way, and his left would be on the left side of that locomotive, which would be right here. That's right, because the engineer would be looking out this side. Now that would be the left side. Uh, the opposite side would be the right side, and this would be the front, and that would be the rear. Whew. Now, most, most locomotives... <laughs> Most locomotives run the letter F forward, but, but some do run it long hood forward, so you got to be aware of that. Okay? All right. Remember, the car body is determined by the letter F. The engine is not. Let me explain that. we got to get landmarks and left and right front and rear on the engine, and then we'll get that dialed in to the car body. Everybody got that? All right, here we go. I always go by the front of the EMD engine or the GE engine. But we're looking at the EMD right now. So let's take a look at it. Big red letter that says here front of engine. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So that's the front. Remember I said how you tell left, right, front, and rear? Well, back here, see this is back of engine right here? I'm standing back here at the back of the engine, right? I'm facing forward. I'm facing up towards the front end. So as I'm mentally straddling that, my left is the left side of the engine. My right is the right side of the engine. My front is facing the front of the engine. And my back or rear is facing or back or rear of the engine. Now let's take a look. Now, we got to get that straight before we go any further. Now once we do that, we now know that this is the front of the engine. Okay? This will make this the right side or right front of the engine. Okay? It's right front of the engine. And how do I know that? Well, on the front end, I have a governor. I have a fuel return manifold, I have oil pumps and water pumps, and I have a lube oil strainer housing. Those are all landmarks you're going to find on all the EMDs, or most of them. Okay? Now, <clears throat> how do we number this cylinder? Let's talk about that. How do we number cylinders? Starting at the right front of the engine, number one is right here. Number one power assembly. Number two, three, four, a little bit of a gap, five, six, seven, and eight. On the left side, or the left side of the engine, front, I'll have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. On the left bank of the engine. Okay? At the back of the engine, I'm going to have a main generator or all there. That's a great big, huge electrical device about that big in diameter. It's huge. It weighs about 10 tons. You can't miss it, really. Bolt on the back of the, of the engine. And on top of that, you'll either have a uh, set of wrist blowers like we've got here, or we'll have a turbocharger. You're going to have one or the other. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are the landmarks I'm looking for in an EMD. Okay? G is going to be a little bit different, and when we get to GE later on, we'll talk about the landmarks there. But for right now, we're just talking on EMD. So, this is the right front, right side of the engine, front of the engine, opposite side be left side of the engine, and of course, you have the rear of the engine. Everybody got that? Now, let's talk about the problems we have with left and right between the car body and the diesel engine. This is where we're having trouble. Okay, let's assume that the letter F is on the short hood end of our locomotive. Okay, so if I'm at the short hood end, I'm facing out. Okay, my left, as I'm sitting in the car body, is to my left. My right is to my right. My front is out that short hood end. And my rear is facing the rear of the diesel engine, or the, of the locomotive. Of the locomotive, not the diesel engine. Now, we go ahead, we take this diesel engine, we plunk it in behind me here, okay? And what's going to happen is, is um, the engine literally is put in backwards. Yeah, nice, huh? They put the engine in backwards. So the back of the engine is facing the front of the locomotive, the left side of the locomotive, of the diesel engine, is on the right side of the locomotive. The right side of the diesel engine is on the left side of the car body or locomotive. And the front of the engine is facing towards the rear of the car body. Whew. 
Everybody got that? Really, really important you understand that. And also the numbering system here. Some will go, oh, it's the left two or left five or left whatever. You got to know your left from your rights. But now let's go ahead and take that letter F and put it long hood forward. So now I'm sitting in this cab and I got the diesel engine facing me uh, and the generator out there. Okay. So let's see how it's going to work. I'm going to have the long hood end is going to be facing forward, which means my left is the car body left. It's also the diesel engine left. My front is also the front of the locomotive and also the front of the engine. My right of the diesel engine is also the right side of the car body. And my rear or back is the rear or back of the diesel engine and, uh, excuse me, the rear of the diesel engine and main generator. Does everybody understand that? So it does make a big difference which way that letter F is facing or what, where it's located on what end, okay? So once you understand that, then you should be good to go. So with that being said, I think we've got it clarified. We're going to ship this out, and we're going to see what kind of reaction we get. And if we still have issues, we'll go through it again. We'll do something different entirely. All right? Thanks so much for watching it. Remember, where you, where you can find us at www.lst-ca.com. Remember, that is not a 1. That is a letter L, lowercase l, in Times New Roman. www.lst-ca.com. Go to it, check it out, give me a call, send me an email. Thanks and have a safe day.